right off the bat. Can, can you just pause that for a second? Yeah. Um, so I just, I just want to comment on how you're placing Bad Boy here because I see it a lot and it's one of my absolute biggest gripes in Siege okay. for all players. Barbed wire needs to be placed properly. There is a proper way to place barbed wire. All right. So, Let's, okay, uh... so just pause it here. I just want to talk about that. Cool. So, if we place our barbed wire where you're standing right now, it allows the enemy to break it from cover. That goes against us in the value game. We get value out of barbed wire by two things either they have to outposit or overextend themselves and put them in a exposed position to in order to break the barbed wire, which gives the defenders uh, the defenders value by you know having a better chance to kill them, or we use it as an early warning sign. That's another way barbed wire gets value. So for example, if on these stairs right now, the barbed wire that is currently placed further up, it's not going to be massive because the early warning that it's going to give isn't, it's not justifiable because we're going to be at like sitting maximum white box all the way down the hallway. So down this way. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. they're just going to break the barbed wire for free. So I it's not very mean, optimal. Yeah. Whereas if we place the so barbed you place wire... place a little bit halfway. Yeah, exactly. If we No, well, if we place it where you're standing right now, they can still break it from cover. They can still break it from the bottom of the stairs and still remain in cover. I what I would recommend is that we place it on the level surface uh, just below the stairs or the second set of stairs here where the leisure mine cap is mm -hmm. uh, and put two barbed wire in this hallway because they have to overextend themselves in order to break it, which means we can swing them from where the legion is currently standing now and kill them easier that's how we get value out of barbed wire so you're baiting them basically into making yeah. a, a play that they don't want to yeah gotcha. um barbed wire is a huge thing it it doesn't stack so one of the worst things i see is people putting barbed wire over each other that, that grinds my gears in a way i can't describe it it's <laughs> so it just it doesn't so know for so for the audience uh in summary we want to put it a little bit further down the hallway so that way the enemy has to overextend to get rid of it and then when yeah, they exactly. overextend we can capitalize on that intel from the sound mm -hmm. cube and then get a kill yeah like i was also saying the other way the other sort of way you can justify placing barbed wire is for that early warning but uh this isn't the place to do it really this isn't gotcha. the optimal there is another location on this uh map where I would recommend uh, placing barbed wire a bit further down for early warning, where they can break it from uh, cover, uh, which is red stairs. Gotcha. Uh, you put most stairs in general, you want to place barbed wire further down because um, you need that early warning. Because if they can just push straight up, they're just going to kill you. Uh, and also, if you place barbed wire where you're going to be playing, you're just going to give the attackers an advantage because they're going to hear where you are. So we really want to think about where we're placing barbed wire before we actually go into the round. Yeah.